I think for me it would have to be solid wood because for me it has the most beautiful tactility and warmth and soul and you can do so many things with it you know you can really depending on the type of wood the density of the wood it can have so many different characters well I, yeah it's a difficult one there are so many to choose from wood is obviously wood is 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 a is a small word for a huge genus of material you know it's like it could, it's endless from going from, you know, what some, at one end of the spectrum you have wood which is more like metal or stone in the really, really super hardwoods. And at the other end you have wood which is, you know, almost you can do things to it with your hands. It's so soft and malleable. But um, I also think aluminium is, is a great material because it doesn't degrade. You can use it again and again and again. It never, you know, okay, it uses energy to smelt it in the first place. But once it's created, you can use it endlessly. And um, again, it's quite easy to machine and to work with them. And, and we're huge fans of anodizing. We've done a lot of anodizing in our projects and that works super well with um, aluminium. So I go aluminium, you go wood. But if something's made for production, for everyday use, it's pretty clear what the material might be. For example, that table there is made from wood. But you could also make it from stone and it would look great, but it le becomes less and less practical, more and more expensive. So, yeah, I think it's a, a, a project will find its own material.